All right, so I received a package from Corn Cop today. He was returning one of my locks that I'm having trouble with, and he included a challenge lock in there. Um, I've never had a challenge lock before. I had no interest in ever picking a challenge lock, but since he had, since he included it, I figure I, I probably have to pick it. So this one is from Neoteca. I looked them up on Discord and Reddit. Um, doesn't look like they've been active for a little while, uh, but we'll see. Maybe I can get them reactivated. Um, there's a key included, and I picked it, um, and I figure I might as well make a, a video on it, and uh, and then I, after, or if I get it open again, um, I'll go ahead and see what's inside. I, I, I had expected to have a lot of gritty feedback and things like that from a challenge lock, but it was actually quite clean. So I'm, I'm kind of, uh, kind of, uh, looking forward to seeing what's inside. In any case, um, it is in a nice Schlage Primus, uh, LFIC style cylinder and we'll give it a shot. So we'll start some tension, see if it, yeah, that you can see, right? Um, and oh, I wish I had a little bit. Mm, all right, we'll make do. The the angle's weird for me, but always is, isn't it? I'll find a good angle one of these days. All right, so I went into here and I felt the pins. One, so I'm kind of going over how I started. One, two, three, four, five, and then six is missing so there's no pin six in here and then I felt the uh, that seventh pin being the uh, one for the, uh, the actuator at the back so then I went in um, one is springy two is binding so what I did I was careful because I figured there's got to be all kinds of um, spools serrations counter milling uh, I'm guessing the key pins are probably all secured up and stuff like that, so I got to be very cautious of oversets. So I got one click out of two there, but it's still binding. So I'm guessing that this one is probably a serrated. It could be a serrated spool, right? I mean, who knows what's in here? Um, another click, and it's still binding. So another serration on it. I doubt it's like a like the, a lip in a counter milling. Um, being pushed up this easy and I'm pushing it really slow because I, I want to avoid any sort of oversets or anything like that and all right jiggle so I'm gonna leave that one alone one is still springy two is jiggling three is binding at this point go ahead and push that up it's traveling it's traveling click got some false set here Two still has a little jiggle. One is binding. So go after one. And one is, I always have a hard time with these front pins, you know? Let's see. All right, one is giving me a little bit of counter rotation. All right, and I got click out of one. And so I noticed this the first time. One feels like it's binding, but there is actually a little bit of jiggle. So what I do is I switch to a flat um, pick, and this will make sure I'm not feeling the um, pick sliding off the, the pin or anything as my jiggle. And then I'll jiggle, jiggle it here. And there is, I can feel a spring, and it jiggles that far. So what that tells me is that um, these pins are probably really flat against each other or something like that maybe they usually you have like a little taper um, on the top of a pin but I'm thinking that maybe that li the little chamfering around the edges of the pin has been removed and this is like flat or something like that um, all right so then we'll go back in with our hook and start feeling so number two still jiggles three is jiggling four is jiggling Five is binding. So push on five. And five doesn't really want to lift. I'm letting off tension. 
it's moving. I'm just being careful. All right, I got a little counter rotation, a little lift, and it's staying there. Almost like a loss of false set, but it's still binding, so I'm gonna keep going. Maybe it's got some sort of like a stair stepping to it or something like that. Oh, another click from it, and I lost more of my false set. All right, so this is not behaving like any security pins that I'm familiar with, but it's a challenge lock. All right, I dropped something. I got another click out of five, and now it's jiggling. Four is jiggling, three is jiggling. Feels like two fell down. So let's go ahead and lift two back up again. There we go. Yep, jiggling. One is uh, loose, three is binding again. So am I having to repeat what I did earlier? Two can be difficult to there it is. One. I'll go back to my flat one to make sure I didn't drop one. Okay, it looks like I can't find that jiggle. So I'm guessing I dropped one. Go ahead and set one again. So it looks like I, I lost all my progress going after five there. All right, got my click out of one again. Check one again. Now I got that jiggle back. Go back to five, see if uh, it needs any more progress. Uh, I think I feel a jiggle there. Four, oh, it feels like maybe it's four's turn. I got a click out of four. Okay, three, two, I'm gonna assume one, let's go back to five. Okay, no jiggle from five, let's go ahead and push it, All right? Oh. I'm wondering if it has another one of those light springs or if that's me just rubbing off of I think that's me rubbing off of the pin because right now it's feeling pretty solid so let's go ahead and push on 5 doesn't seem to want to move though oh alright I got a false set and somewhere along the way when I got one of these false sets I'm like okay it must be time for the side pins so I got my Primus side pin pick and I went in I'm like oh I don't feel anything on 1 nothing's binding I don't even feel a spring two, no, three, no, four, no, five, no. I was like, oh, I don't feel any, so I was really thrown. I was like, I don't feel any finger pins. I don't know what kind of security they could have done there to make it so I can't feel it. So at this point, I just assume there's no finger pins, uh, which is just a little, little foolery there going on, I think. All right. One, I can't feel with that that pick, but I'm, I, I don't think I, I got to a point where I could have dropped one. Maybe I did. I didn't think I went, went off enough to... No. One spring. It must have like a, a tiny spring or a really weak spring or something like that because it's, it's hard to detect one. One's jiggle. It could be that it lost. I'm nervous about going after it again though. All right, I'm gonna feel for a binder, otherwise it's gotta be one. Two jiggle, where's three? Three feels like it's, I don't feel a jiggle from three. I'm gonna push on three a little. Yeah. Right, and we're open, okay. So I got lucky I didn't go after number one again because I could have overset it, um, but and three got us open. So it took a little while because I was being really, really cautious. So let's go ahead and make sure that the key works with this. So let's open on this side. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. All right, so it does have the sidebar still. It's kind of interesting. It looks like this has been s like kind of sanded down or something. It's got like some sandpaper look to it. I don't know if that's just from like, maybe that's just from the, the cleaning wheel, whatever they call it, the wire wheel, but that's, uh, I don't usually see that. So low cut on one. So that's um, stopping you from getting a lot back and then I had those high lifts on the back so yep works nice nothing wrong with the, the key at all 
let's take a look inside. This is uh, this is what I'm waiting for. All right. So it looks like um, I don't know if I showed that. It looks like corn cob got this. I don't know if he got this then or he picked it then on 820. I should probably put a year on there. I'm guessing that's 2020. Oh no, maybe it's just maybe it's just August 20. August 2020. I don't know. I'll ask him. Um, and I'll put my, my date on there. So let's take a look. Get some autofocus. look down here there we go so first thing I don't standard just like okay uh, we will we will use a shim just in case well I lost the key. Oh, I put it back in his package. Okay. Shim this. I had <laughs> this shim is pathetic. I should find a new one. Okay, it's not catching on anything. That's a good sign. Uh, follower. I think I took my other followers upstairs. This should work, hopefully. Nope. Nothing falling out underneath. No, okay, so there's no sidebar at all. That's what we felt. We didn't feel any anything from there. And it looks like it looks like uh, these pins are pretty wide in here. It looks like maybe they're made from like brass rod instead of key pins. The, the fourth one here looks like it might have been a, just a regular key pin. We'll see when it comes out. Um, it could be brass rod that's been, um, each of these might have been like um, put in a Dremel and had their, their diameter reduced a bit because I know brass rod is usually a bit wide. Oh, I can already see that one is some sort of spool from how it's hanging out there. All right, so uh, I guess we'll start at one. One. That's a torpedo of some sort. Okay, it's got a, it's got a pretty thin lip up top. Oh, actually. Let's see. And get in more of this. So it's got a pretty thin lip up top. I'm trying to see if it has. It seems like it has even thinner on top to try to catch you, but no. It's a uh, yes. That's torpedo. If you overset into that, and you're you're stuck, right? Second one is got some. It's got some serrations going on for against the oversets again. These are things you don't normally encounter on a lock. This is another one of the serrated ones. Oh, all right, that one isn't interesting. So this is like a, it's like a backwards torpedo, kind of ramp your way down. And the last one is, oops, all right, another thing, oh, that's the anti-drill fell out. Um, no, wait, is that anti-drill? No, that's a, that's the, um, act, the control pin. So this one is a spool, but it doesn't start till much further. I thought it, maybe I saw a taper on the top. Um, I need a better way to, you know, why am I doing this? I have a pair of tweezers. There we go. So I thought I saw a taper on top of it, maybe not. And that fourth one, I was wondering, it looks thin because it's been, uh, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm really bad at this, sorry. It looks like it's been spooled out, so that probably is why it got reduced diameter that I saw. All right, top pins. These are the ones that I'm even more curious about because these are the ones we actually encountered. So first one is a spool, a very thin spool. So this would give you a really deep false set. But I encountered this as my third pin. So I guess um, I didn't really drop into a super deep false set. Although I must have, because it, it was binding, so. Interesting. 
second one. Oh, okay, that's got a lot of serrations on it. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. A lot of serrations on that one. Next one. Oh, actually, I should be taking these springs out as I go because I remember number one feeling like a really light spring. Uh, so that's not your standard Schlag spring there. Number two spring. Oh, I can already see it's a different color. It looks like more like a Schlag spring, but. All right, pin three is a T pin of some sort. I have it all zoomed in, so it's hard to keep it all in frame. And what I'm curious about on this one is, does it become a little bit fatter at the very bottom, like a little lip on there? No, I don't think there's a lip. It just optical illusion of some sort. All right, let's check out that spring. That's a bigger spring. All right, number four. I'm taking time with the gut too because I want to maintain the uh, orientation of these pins. It's like another pretty deep spool. Let's get that spring out. Another one of these. Oh no, it's a different color spring. All the springs are different in here it seems. And the last one, this one looks crazy. I'll pick that up in a second because it looks really nice. And that spring is right there. So this one here, this is the one that I, I felt it like stair step up but it, it looks like serrations on a oh my all right i'm gonna just put it down it looks like serrations on a um on a spool like serrations there but it does look it's it looks kind of like a i don't know like a beehive you know like it, it gets kind of wider let's see you see how it gets kind of wider? So that's that stair step feeling. Interesting stuff. In any case, um, that is Neoteca number one. Very, very nicely made. Uh, let's see those counter milling. No, no counter milling. So maybe like some counter milling on number one would make, make it pretty crazy, I think. Um, but I think this is really, really nice, uh, nicely done. Obviously, um, this is the best challenge lock I've ever picked. Uh, I have a sample size of one and it might be the last one because I'm not, I'm really not into challenge locks. Um, there's a lot of other ones to do, but I'm happy that this one came my way and hopefully, uh, we can get Neoteca chatting again. I've never talked to them. All right. Thanks. That's it. Bye.